Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris Donna. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back friends and family. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, you should do it. You should totally do it. Today, I'm going to be doing some textured blend with some blues. We're gonna be using some salt wash. We are going to be using some good old Annie Sloan paint on here. And we're gonna be using one of my favorite paints that I love using, and it is Daydream Apothecary. So we'll be using a couple colors in the Coastal line, which was curated by Llewellyn from Worn to Whimsy, and I'm gonna put her business link in the, the description below so that you guys can see it. I am also going to put the Daydream Apothecary website below because these are available from retailers and also, there are retailers that can ship. They are located in Europe as well. So we are going to be using Daydream Apothecary. Today, we are going to try to create something really nice, textured, layered blues. My inspiration is this right here, this old door. This is my inspiration, and I'm really hoping that I don't fail. <laughs> this could be really bad, guys, or it could be really good. But if you wanna see it, stay here. I'm gonna clean this piece really well with a cleaner by Nordic Chic. This is also a deglosser, so this is going to prep my surface. Not only is it going to clean everything, but it's gonna degloss it, basically the same as a scuff sand, and so it's going to get my piece ready for painting. I'm gonna go over it with clean water and a clean rag as well, wait for it to dry, and then it will be ready for paint. I have inspiration for this, and so what I'm gonna do is mix the Neons by Anissa, the Four Boys Blue, with the Coastal Line, which is salt water. And this is what I'm trying to go for. So that layer, the lighter layer underneath, is what I'm trying to get. So we're going to mix some salt water with the Neon Four Boys Blue to just brighten up this blue just a little bit more so that we have a brighter blue for our base coat. I am going to paint two coats of this on the entire piece so that way we have a brighter blue to go underneath our darker blue that we're going to do. Okay, the next step is to have salt wash and then we're gonna use Annie Sloan's Old White. We're gonna mix those together and you can see in the picture how at the bottom we've got some white going on. That's what I'm going for. So I want some texture on this piece and I want the white to show through. Once I got this consistency, I took one of my bigger brushes with more bristles and I'm going to just stipple this on the entire piece. You're going to pounce this mixture all over the entire piece. I used a brush with a bigger surface area so that it doesn't take as long. And another thing that you can do, which you'll see in one of the later videos or one of the next videos is you can take it and you can actually brush it on and then you can pounce it if you want. 
you don't have to just pounce every single area. Basically what you wanna do is just create a bunch of texture on here. So we're gonna cover the entire piece with this. Right here is where you can see that you're gonna brush it on and then you can pounce it around to create texture. Once you're done with this, you're gonna wait for this to completely dry before you go in and do the next step, which is we're going to mix salt wash with Hemingway, which is kind of a cobalt blue color. So we're going to layer on top of layer of texture. So we're gonna put Hemingway in, I'm just using a paper bowl, and then I'm going to add my salt wash on here, and that way we have another texture medium, and I'm going to layer this on top of the white. Now, in some of the areas where I wanna be able to scrape it off, I'm going to actually brush it on so that it goes on thicker. That way we'll be able to scrape it and it's gonna give us a chippy look and it's gonna expose the white and the lighter blue color underneath. So just trust the process, everybody. But this is what we're doing next. And like I said, we're gonna go over some of the areas where the blue mixture, the light blue mixture that we had before is already exposed. We're going to just kind of brush it on there in a thick layer, and then we're going to pounce the blue in a bunch of different areas on this piece. Once this layer has started to dry, you're going to just take the paint itself and cover all of the areas that you haven't put the blue texture on. And that way you're going to paint the entire piece over with Hemingway. But you wanna make sure that the thicker areas are dry first because you don't wanna start pulling that over in other areas. So we're gonna cover as best we can the entire piece with Hemingway right now. I wanted to show you the top. So what I'm gonna do is put a thick layer of paint and then I'm taking a mister bottle and I'm going to mist over the surface and that's gonna allow me to push the paint in the areas that haven't had full coverage. So this paint really, really does work really well with water. You can just spray a little bit of your water, do some circles and you're gonna push that so you can cover everything and then you're using less paint. Now what we're going to do is we're going to allow everything to dry and then we're going to take a plastic scraper and we're going to scrape all of those thicker areas and you're going to see it's going to create a chippy look. It may pull down to the wood, which is what we want. We want this to be an aged look. You can push, you can scrape against everything with the plastic scraper. You can take some of the areas, some of the paint that has come off and you can just go in different directions. And what we're doing is we're trying to distress and give this an old world look. Also, I wanna expose a little bit more of that lighter blue so you can take a mister bottle, mist it, wipe away with a rag, and you're gonna expose more of that white and you're gonna expose more of that lighter blue color. So right here you can see, we're gonna pull a little bit more of that thicker texture off. And again, we're going to do the mister bottle so that we can get really down into that lighter layer of the blue and we're just going to play around so just take the plastic scraper and just play around scrape on it or you can smear or spread some of that blue that is coming off you can spread that on there create texture on this piece Thank you. 
Because these are chalk and clay based paints, they are gonna reactivate with water, which is good for this next part. So what I do is I like to mist some of the areas and I'm going to expose some of the colors underneath. And then I'm also going to mist some of the areas and take a rag and I'm gonna wipe it. So what it's gonna do is it's going to mix that darker blue and that white and that lighter blue and it's gonna create a lighter color and it's gonna just make it a different look. So right here, you can expose some of the white and then if you see me spray this next area, we're going to wipe it with the rag and it's going to create a lighter blue on there. I want this piece to have a little bit more of the lighter blue and so I'm taking the mixture that I had earlier and I'm going to take my plastic scraper and I am just going to scrape it across on the piece. So you want to make sure that your plastic scraper is parallel to the piece and you're going to scrape it so that it kind of skips across and gives the look of a chippy paint. If you guys have followed me for a while, I do this also to make a reclaimed boatwood look. So this is going to give your paint a kind of a chippy smeared look on this piece and it's gonna add another dimension of layer and texture and color. The sides that are flat in a larger area, I am taking a carbide scraper and I'm going to miss the area and I'm going to gently pull down and this is going to do an exposure. It's going to expose in little areas more of the white and it's going to expose that lighter blue underneath and it's just going to give it a really cool look. But you want to make sure that you're not pressing too hard because you don't want to completely scrape this paint all the way off. One of the final steps to get this old world look is to take my three x four electric gray by surf prep and I am taking a half inch, very fine pad and I'm going over the entire piece. And as you can see, it's gonna create a little bit of distressing, but it is also going to expose all of that white texture that we put underneath of that Hemingway and it's just going to make everything cohesive and come together. Then what I'm gonna do is wipe everything off. Normally with my surf prep, I have a hose, but I brought this outside. So if you have a hose on it or you're not, you don't have any dust, you can move on to the next step, the next step. But if you don't, you want to make sure you get all the existing dust off because now what I'm going to do, because this paint needs to be sealed is I am going to take dream coat, which is the top coat by daydream apothecary. And I am going to put a coat of it on here, but you can see how it richens the colors up and just makes everything look super, super nice. That is the last step and that's going to protect this piece. And it's also going to richen every color on this piece. All right, everybody, this piece is done. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Happy creating. I'm gonna put Daydream's website in the description so that you guys can go there and find a retailer. 
There are retailers that sell online, so if they're not super close to you, you can still get the paint. And until then, guys, happy creating, and I will see you later. Bye.